This short uh, presentation is uh, made for my students uh, as a ground school uh, for them. But uh, if you're not one of my students, you're welcome to watch and, and, and hopefully uh, learn what you need to learn to pass your oral exam and know about a little bit about uh, SORI. Uh, in this uh, session, we're going to review the I'm SAFE uh, acronym. Uh, and so, anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Um, glider pilots need to uh, self-certify that they're fit to fly. Now, an FAA medical certificate is not required to fly a glider. Uh, however, uh, glider pilots have to self-certify that they're safe to be pilot in command of a glider. And this brief presentation uh, reviews the memorized checklist acronym, I'm SAFE, or I-M-S-A-F-E. Uh, it's commonly used by pilots uh, when they're headed out to the field to make sure they're okay to fly. Uh, and uh, But it's something that I assure you uh, will be on your uh, check ride, on your, the oral part of your check ride. This is uh, something that uh, I think every DPE is going to ask you about. Uh, first, uh, I'm safe. And uh, if we jump into it here, I is for illness. And if you're sick, please don't come to the airport. Um, not only we make you could make it every, all your other pilot friends uh, ill, uh, and you'll, you'll be flying significantly impaired. Uh, changes in altitude require popping of the ears, uh, and that might be pretty hard if you have head congestion or other types of ailments. Um, so please don't. Uh, don't fly for ill. Medications. Um, you know, some medications, uh, they impede your ability to reason, uh, to move, or to stay awake. Uh, certainly, if it says, you know, don't, uh, don't take this if you're uh, going to operate heavy equipment, you go, well, glider's not heavy equipment. Well, it's not heavy equipment, but it kind of means the same thing. So uh, I think aspirin's okay. Um, um, you know, small amounts of ibuprofen or something if you have a, uh, you know, a little ache or pain uh, is probably okay too, but uh, don't go real easy on the medications. Uh, stress. Uh, stress comes in two forms. And there's short-term stress. That's where, you know, maybe just had an argument with somebody or it's traffic snarl up that just kind of upsets you or had a political discussion or got political news or news, other bad news or something. That's, that's short-term stress. And you can overcome that, um, clear your mind, get in the cockpit, you'll be fine. Long-term stress, however, um, is more, is more uh, uh, of a problem. Uh, harder to, to just put it out of your mind and, and when you get into the cockpit. Um, a divorce, if you don't want to, some folks go through divorce. It's very, very stressful, I'm sure. Uh, health issues, if you're not, you know, if you've got some kind of long-term ailment uh, and it's on your mind, that can be a problem. Financial, um, if you've got serious financial issues, that can be very stressful and you probably should uh, not fly. Alcohol, well, you know, that's self-explanatory. It includes narcotics, of course, and um, the, the, the saying uh, the, that uh, gets used more in airplane, I guess, than glider, but eight hours bottle of throttle, uh, and the same applies for, for glider. Uh, so if you have a beer, you had a beer eight hours ago, one beer, you're okay. Um, if you were commode hunk and drunk eight hours ago, that, no, you, you probably need to, to wait um, and uh, wait for your liver to do its thing. Fatigue. Don't fly if you're worn out from some activity. I mean, if you're just showing up to the field dead tired because of something you've been doing, don't be either dead tired mentally or physically. Um, fly another day. Uh, remember new pilots, when you're, when you're training, you're going to get fatigued quickly. 
especially when learning Aerotel. It requires a lot of focus and a lot of decision making. So making decisions is what makes you tired. Um, eating, drinking. Uh, e, the last one, E is for eating, drinking. So uh, hunger can impede your, your focus and, and all that. You should be well nourished. Uh, but probably even more important is the drinking, and I mean drinking water uh, or Gatorade or something. Um, you need to be well hydrated. And, you know, a lot of the flying we do uh, is in the summertime, and so in hotter weather, um, and especially at altitude, it's easy to get dehydrated. So be well hydrated before you launch and uh, drink plenty of water on your flight. Uh, now, some checklists use emotion for eating. Um, I don't. Uh, I think the lack of hydration is a much bigger issue uh, in the cockpit. And emotion is also, I think, covered by stress. So on to the quiz. So um, like the other quizzes on this series, um, this one is uh, self-graded. So I'm just going to give you a little time to think through these. All right, let's go to the answers. I, illness, M, medicines, S, stress, short and long term, A, alcohol, F, fatigue, and E, eating, drinking. All right. Well, that covers this short segment. Um, and uh, thank you for joining. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing you at the field.